Mercedes-Benz has always been known for luxury and engineering prowess, but in recent years the automaker wants you to think about technology as well. And nowhere is that more evident than in this, the 2022 Mercedes-Benz S-Class. It carries on its predecessor's reputation for comfort, and as you can see, it has a slightly evolutionary redesign, but it comes with a quantum leap forward in safety, driver assist, and convenience technology. Compared to its predecessor, the new S-Class carries on the same overall shape and general proportions. However, they have made a few notable updates. First of all, the front grille protrudes ever so slightly from the rest of the front end of the car, giving it a more fuselage and tapered appearance. Up close, it looks really nice with some really beautiful definition that doesn't necessarily come across in photos as well as it does in person. Additionally, these new headlights are slightly more angular than the old ones. I don't necessarily love this. I think the old S-Class had perfect design and it looked very stately and imperious. So I think this is a slight misstep. However, it's there. They look great. There's a lot of great detail when you get up close and there are three individual LED elements, which are a hallmark of the S family of cars, the GLS, the S-Class sedan, and the EQS EV. This particular vehicle includes the AMG exterior package, which gets a more aggressive front bumper with gloss black accents. However, that's still not my favorite design feature on this front end. This is a proper hood ornament, and I love that Mercedes included such an old-fashioned design cue on a vehicle that is otherwise extremely modern and contemporary. It's also becoming something of a rarity in the company's lineup. Most sedans that Mercedes makes now carry their logo down low on the grille instead of up high on the hood where it belongs, and that's really kind of a shame because few things feel as good as driving a brand new Benz down the road with a three-pointed star off in the distance guiding the way. The old flagship's bustle-back design carries over to the 2022 S-Class, but there are some new triangular taillights to set things off just a little bit. And when you get up close, you can see that the LEDs inside the taillights are actually stacked behind each other for a sort of a 3D effect. It's very subtle, but it does add some cool factor. The only truly notable design changes on the side profile are this strong shoulder crease that kind of gives the vehicle a little bit more visual structure than it did before. And in a concession to modernity, the door handles now sit flush until you're ready to use them, at which point they pop out for you to open the door and get on your way. The exterior of the S-Class is only slightly changed from its predecessor, but the interior is a complete redesign, starting with this 12.8 inch center touchscreen display that runs down the middle of the vehicle, replacing a horizontal touchscreen that was mounted much higher on the dash. A 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster is standard, and this vehicle has the optional 3D display. However, I'm not a huge fan of that feature because it kind of forces my eyes to focus on too many different things at once when I'm driving down the road and suddenly looking at my gauges. However, it is some pretty cool tech nonetheless. The first thing you notice riding around in the S-Class is just how serene the ride is. There aren't a lot of road imperfections or noise that penetrate the cabin, which is the highest praise that you can give a vehicle like this. Full-size luxury sedans aren't necessarily meant to be super involving and exciting to drive. Instead, you want them to be isolation chambers. That said, the S-Class does a very good job of handling corners, even in this comfort mode, that kind of softens up the suspension a lot. It doesn't necessarily wallow over bumps either. It kind of just soaks up the imperfection and smooths out the ride so you can continue on your way. This particular vehicle is an S580, which means it has a four liter twin turbocharged V8 under the hood, making 496 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. Those are huge numbers, but it doesn't necessarily feel extremely dynamic, and that's because this is just supposed to be a big, peerless, comfortable, powerful machine. It can pass with ease, but it doesn't necessarily want you to go as fast as you can. Instead, it's just meant for high-speed, long-distance touring. Credit where it's due, the new S-Class is pretty fun to hustle down a twisty road. The optional 4.5 degree rear axle steering provides decent response in tight corners while also providing good balance in long sweepers. Additionally, with all that power on board, you're never really left wanting for more. And with the suspension set in Sport or Sport Plus, body motions are reasonably well controlled, particularly for how comfortable the vehicle is on the interstate. It's not all perfect though. In general, the interior is very well designed, but the head-up binnacle at the base of the windshield looks a little inelegant to my eyes. Additionally, there's a piece of glass on the projector that sometimes catches an annoying reflection and casts it into the windshield, which is frustrating when you're spending more than $140,000 as tested. That doesn't negate how cool the head-up display really is, though. It's Mercedes's first application of an augmented reality head-up display, which means when you have navigation or something like that active on the infotainment, it will actually project directions on the screen where they would appear on the road. Additionally, the head-up display can also show warnings and hazards. 
If I'm getting a little bit too close to the lane line, it will illuminate the lane line in red, showing me that I need to get more toward the center of the lane. And if there's a vehicle coming up beside me that I don't realize and I've got my blinker on, it will let me know that as well. The bottom line is, if you liked the old S-Class, you're going to like the new one. It just isn't that fundamentally different from the vehicle that it replaces, but that's not a bad thing. It's still supremely luxurious, it's very comfortable, I think it's pretty stylish, it drives great on the highway, these are all good things. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that Mercedes rested on its laurels or was complacent with this redesign. They added features that new customers would want, stuff like the advanced suspension, the head-up display, the center touchscreen, all the internet connectivity features. These are all things that attract new customers to the brand, and Mercedes added them without alienating the old guard that made the S-Class such a legend in the first place. This is still the standard in full-size luxury sedans. Mercedes isn't done yet either. There are Maybach and AMG variants of the S-Class on the way, so be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel to stay updated on those vehicles as they arrive. Thanks for watching.